In this activity, we want to do some investigation on heating and cooling of naphthalene. So naphthalene has the formula of C10H8 and its symbol for naphthalene looks something like that. Hexagon, two hexagon. And one of the practical applications or usage of naphthalene in our daily lives is mothballs. The one that you put in your dress cupboard to repel insects or cockroaches. So what happened is now we want to do some heating and cooling of this substance. So before we begin, we need to take a few precautionary steps. Number one, naphthalene is highly flammable. So we cannot heat up naphthalene directly with Bunsen burner. Instead, we should heat it with water bath. We will show what is the water bath later. Number two, you should not pour the used or the melted naphthalene into the sink. Do not pour melted naphthalene into the sink because it will clog the drains and it will freeze. Okay? So, take note of that. And number three, when you handle naphthalene, use a spatula. Avoid skin contact because it's quite dangerous. Okay, avoid skin contact. So this naphthalene is, the proper spelling should be L-E-N-E. -E. So let's begin with looking at the diagram first. This will be the setup for naphthalene. So here will be the heating part and the other side is the cooling part. Let's label them one by one and find out what we can do with them. So you have a tripod stand and you have the Bunsen burner here. This is a Bunsen burner. And this is the naphthalene substance that you put in. Make sure your thermometer is below the level of naphthalene, but the level of naphthalene must be made sure that it is below the water level. This is what we put water tap in a beaker. We call it water bath. To allow even heating. Okay, to allow uniform heating, uniform or even heating. Okay, later we'll come back for the cooling part. Let's investigate the procedure for the heating of naphthalene. This is a thermometer and it is clamped with the tripod stand. So the first step is you fill up your naphthalene substance into a test tube. How much should we put? It should be ar around 3 cm or you can put one third of the test tube. All right. So that's the substance that you should put in. And then you suspend the boiling tube or the test tube into the water bath. Okay. Making sure that the water bath level is here and your naphthalene level is here and your thermometer should be just a bit below the substance itself all right so this is the water bath so the next thing is you want to heat up the water second step you heat the water and you stir it evenly. When you heat up the water with fire, make sure you use low fire. All right. So when it reaches 60 degrees Celsius, you start to record with your stop clock or stopwatch. Record the temperature changes every 30 seconds, every half a minute. All right every half a minute you record the temperature record this until it reach 90 degree celsius all right 
fill it fill fill up all this information into a table where you begin from uh, time zero and after 30 seconds you record a new temperature and then another 30 seconds a new temperature record this and observe what is the state of the substance is it from solid to become liquid or also to other states record your observations all right so this is the heating part for the heating of naphthalene substance so when we go to cooling let's look back at the diagram this diagram shows that we pour out the water we take a another beaker we take a new beaker we put put on the base and then we clamp the boiling tube put the naphthalene substance and the thermometer hold the thermometer if you can and you put inside but before you put inside make sure you dry them first dry the outer surface wipe it with the with the with a piece of cloth dry outer part of the boiling tube okay putting this test tube or boiling tube into the beaker helps to give them uniform cooling okay this to ensure uniform cooling okay this is the conical flask right it's not a beaker it's a conical flask let it cool but apply the same principle for every 30 seconds you record the temperature reading all right so the first step will be dry the outer layer of the boiling tube second step would be put it within the conical flask this is to ensure even or uniform cooling within the conical flask and apply the same principle use your stopwatch for every 30 second interval you record the temperature changes and also what do you see the physical changes all right interval and record your of physical observation not only the, the temperature reading but also the state of the matter whether it is solid liquid or anything else all right so make sure that this temperature drop is from uh, approximately 90 degrees celsius to 60 degrees celsius all right so when you get all the results you plot them into a graph and the graph will look the way something like this okay so you need to explain why is it like that for heating and why is it like that for cooling and we make some inference and we do some discussion and we will find out the conclusion of the whole heating of naphthalene okay we'll explain this in another video thank you